Hi, I'm Laurie and welcome to your one dumbbell only total body workout. What you're going to need today is one dumbbell. Now you get to pick the weight selection. I'm recommending right around 10 pounds, give or take. If you need to lighten the load, and of course, if it's not challenging enough with perfect form and with that mind muscle connection, you can always make it heavier. We will also need a mat and definitely grab something to hydrate with as well. All right, so today's format, we will have 20 different exercises. Each exercise will be performed for one minute with a dumbbell. After each exercise, we will have 15 seconds to recover. I'm going to demo the upcoming exercise. You can do it with me to get that mind muscle connection, get the form down, make it perfect before we begin or you can take a drink of water and just chill. That is up to you. Before we begin our actual work today, uh, we're gonna get into a super quick warm up. It'll be body weight only, five minutes long, five different exercises. For your warm up, we will go 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off before amping it up a notch. So grab all your stuff and let's get going. For our first exercise, we're gonna start with a unilateral movement. It will be a reverse lunge to a squat. The left side will move. So let's make sure we can engage your core to keep your hips stable. We have got to engage your core. We have a lot of unilateral movements. So big deep 360 inhale. As we exhale, draw your deep belly button up an inch, really activate the TVA as well as those rectus abdominals. So activate it and that will help keep your hips stable. All right, so reverse lunge to squat, it's gonna look like this. Left side moves only, we lunge it down, we bring it out to the side, heavy in the heels, drive it up. All right, here we go, 45 seconds in three, two, and one, let's go. Heavy in that left heel. Feet wide, weight in both heels, drive it up. Feeling in that front hamstring, front glute, and then both glutes, both hamstrings. Ten seconds. two, and one. All right, next up for a warm up will be a jumping jack tap. So we're gonna keep your hips level by bracing the core, and we're tapping it one side at a time, keeping it pretty low impact today. There is no jumping, but no jumping does not mean easy. Let's go in three, two, and one. 45 seconds. Notice how my body's staying upright, and I'm not leaning to one side. Engage the core to stay upright. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going to do that reverse lunge to squat on the right side now. So we take it back, bring it out, drive through both heels. So one side of the leg's gotta feel it more on the lunge, both legs on the squat. Here we go, in three, two, and one. Make sure that knee is staying behind the toe. Let's protect those joints. Take this warm up nice and slow. two, and one. All right, next up, we have very controlled high knees. So inhale, exhale, engage. And then keep that engagement, but don't hold the breath. Then we're going to control those high knees up. We should really feel it in the lower abdominals. Let's go in three, two, and one. Control high knees. So we always, we already have engagement. Keep breathing, but then exhale it up. And on each exhale, 
Try to engage a little bit more. Slight lean forward. If we're like this, we're stretched out. It's really hard to engage the stretched muscle. Lean forward, engage, control this movement. We're also getting your hip flexors nice and strong too. It's an area we all uh, ignore a lot. Three, two, and one. Coming up next, alternating lateral lunge with a punch. So we're right here, heels in, toes out. We lunge and punch, and we just switch sides. You can increase the tempo if you want. 45 seconds on, final exercise of the warm up before we get into the good stuff. Let's go. Look at your knees, make sure they're not caving in. So try to keep your knees fairly stacked over the ankles. Final 10 seconds. And one. All right, for your next 20 exercises, we will have a dumbbell in hand at all times. You get 15 seconds to recover after every minute of work. If you need more of a recovery, of course, hit pause, take a drink, then meet me back here. Y'all, this is gonna be challenging if we grab the appropriate weight selection. Everyone's gonna be different. So go ahead, grab your weight. Our first exercise is a neutral full thruster single side. So dumbbell goes into that left hand from here. Feet are about hip distance apart. We take it down to a mini squat. Heavy in the heels, think of a quarter squat. We use the legs to press that dumbbell up, control it on the way down. So use the legs to press it up, control it on the way down. We're here for one minute. Brace the core to stabilize those hips. I'm not talking a lot during this workout. We go in three, two, and one, I'm gonna be right there with you. Control it. Hips stay level. Today it's not about how many reps we can do, but how many quality reps we can do. Halfway through. Final 10 seconds. Hips stay level, you got this. Core is working here. Three, two, and one, coming up next. Grab that weight in both hands. We have a reverse lunge. We step it up, press it out. Other side, reverse lunge to a press. We alternate, ow, one at a time. Don't hit your hip with the dumbbell. We go in three, two, and one. Lunge back, step up, press out. Lunge, return, press, center. You got it now. Halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two. And one, back to that neutral full thruster. We're doing it on the other side. Her right hand grabs the weight. A little quarter squat to press. All right, 15 seconds goes by quick. We go in three, two, one. Control it. 
control it down. Explode, control. That belt's gonna start to really fire up soon. Halfway. Final 10. Three, two, and one. Coming up next, we have an alternating hip hinge tricep kickback. So we're in this hip hinge position. Grab the weight with that left hand. We kick it back, palm faces in, we bring it in, and then at the bottom, we just switch sides one at a time. We go in three, two, and one. Stabilize those hips, keep the core nice and tight. Looking straight down, big squeeze of that tricep, bring it in, switch sides. Hip points stay level, we're looking straight down. Halfway through. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Grab that dumbbell, left hand. We have clean to press the curtsy lunge. So we're long. We use the legs, drive it up, neutral grip above the shoulder. One curtsy lunge, return to center, weight goes down. Clean to press, curtsy lunge, left side, we go. Left, left leg moves, control it up, release it down. Clean to curtsy lunge, heavy in this heel. level you got this one more rep last three two and one nice work all right, for the next exercise, we are coming to your mat. Set that dumbbell down. Deep belly button draws up and in. We have a bird dog each side, opposite leg, opposite arm. From here, we pull that dumbbell through, keep the hips nice and level. And then we do that again. One bird dog each side. And then we pull that dumbbell underneath in a tabletop position. We go in three, two, and one. Engage TVA. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Pull it through. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Pull it through. Really try to hug that deep belly button up and in. Keep that engagement of the TVA throughout, but continue to breathe. So keep the engagement, but keep the inhales and exhales. We're getting that core nice and warm, because so we're just gonna progress and it's just gonna get harder from here on out. Three, two, and one. All right, let's bring it up. Next up, we have a cling to a reverse, or excuse me, cling to a curtsy lunge, right side this time. Whew. 
here we go. There's no press. <laughs> in three, two, and one. Clean. Curtsy lunge. Good. Drive through the heels. Control it. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Now we're gonna crank it up a notch. We have a plank pull through. So we're gonna high plank position, shoulders stacked over the wrist. Draw your deep belly button up and in. We reach underneath the body to grab that dumbbell, place it on the other side. We go in three, two, and one. If you need a modification, just look in that upper left hand corner. We are working on anti-rotation of the hips. So try to keep your hip points level. If you had headlights on your hip points, they would be shining at your mat. This one is a killer. Come on, we got it. Almost halfway through. Widen your feet. seconds. Three, two, and recover. All right. Whew. Come up next. We have a B stance RDL. High row, low row, rear delt. Here we go. Left foot forward. RDL. From here, high row. Elbow flares out. In to rear delt. Let's go. High row. Low row. Rear delt fly, drive through the heel. B stance RDL. High row, low row, rear delt. You got it. Ten seconds. Last three, two, and one. Coming up next, hip hinge swing. We're gonna alternate hands, left and right. Whew. So tension in the hips and the ham, or excuse me, in the hamstrings and the glutes. We bring it up, right hand. We switch in the air. All right, well, let's go in three, two, one. Hips are going back. Switch dumbbells in the air. The dumbbells just along for the ride. We should feel this in the glutes and the hamstrings. Squeeze the glutes at the top, but maintain a neutral low back. And one. All right, we're coming to a B stance, RDL, high row, low row, rear delt on the other side, weight is in that right hand, left foot forward, we bring it down, high row, 
low row, rear delt. We go in three, two, and one. Control it. Dumbbell is tight to the body. Drive through this heel up, good. Look straight down. Core is engaged to help stabilize those hips. Ten seconds. I got the beat. I got the beat. Three, two, and one. All right. We have hip hinge swings bilateral. So both arms, squeeze those glutes at the top, but make sure we're not pumping the air. Don't compress that low back. Just big squeeze, neutral low back. We go. And three, two, one. Dumbbell is along for the ride. The lower body controls this movement. Squeeze right here. Last three, two, and one. All right, coming up next, we have a lateral lunge, upright row to bicep curl. So it's gonna look like this, dumbbell in that left hand, right leg steps out to the side, we bring it out. We drive through this right heel, upright row, bicep curl, return. So lateral lunge, upright row, biceps. Here we go. In three, two, and one, let's go. Lateral lunge, upright row, Flip the grip, biceps, down. Drive through the heel, upright row, biceps, control. Keep those hips level. Halfway. Legs, delts, biceps, good. Three, two, and one. Coming up next, we have a reverse lunge with a twist. So one dumbbell, both hands. We bring it back to that reverse lunge. From here, we twist towards the bent knee, engaging the core, bring it back. Lunge, twist towards the bent knee. We alternate right and left in three, two, one. Twist towards the bent knee, return, step it up. Core is tight. Heavy in that heel, lean behind the toe. Three, two, and one. All right, we have a lateral lunge, upright row to 
bicep curl, other side. Right arm has the dumbbell, left leg steps out. You know what to do. Let's slow that breath down. Whew. Here we go, in three, two, and one. Drive through the heel, bring it up, flip it, biceps, return. Lateral lunge, upright row, biceps, good. Core is tight at the top, hips gotta stay level. We're almost done, y'all. We have about a little over five minutes left, that's it. through that left leg. You got it. Last rep. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up next. We have two repeaters to a press. So we're up here, two repeaters, one press, we return. Repeaters, press it out. Core and delts, let's go. Two repeaters. One press, go up. Two repeaters, one press, bring it up. Two repeaters, one press, bring it up. Knee to chest, press it out, up. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, coming up next, we have a reverse lunge, curl to press. Whew. Here we go. Left leg moves. We lunge, curl, press it up. Lunge, curl, press, let's go. Give you a different view. Halfway. Maintain this tempo. You got it. Ten seconds. Core's tight. Stabilize those hips. Three, two, and one. All right. Come up next. Three count tricep extension with a squat. We take that squat down with the triceps. Elbows in tight. Three, two, one. One count pause. One count drive it up. We go. Let's do it. One minute. right there with you. I'm fatigued, keep your form. If your form slips, stop. Take three deep breaths, then join me. Keep the form, you got it. Exhale to drive it up. Back to that reverse lunge, 
curl to press, other side. Looks like this, lunge, curl, press, return, lunge, curl, press, return. Let's go. Second to last exercise. And we're halfway through. Flip the grip as you press it up. Final exercise, plank pull through. We're gonna add a burpee with it. Always keep the dumbbell on the ground. We're gonna pull that plank through, add the burpee at the end, just join me. I can't demo, final exercise. We go, three, two, follow along. Jump back, two plank pull throughs, one at each side. Jump it in, add the jump or not. You can always step back, plank pull through. Jumper step in, bring it up. Cap raise is an option too. This is it, final exercise. one. Nice work. Let's slow that breath down. Grab a drink of water. <laughs> Pat off your sweat. Woo. Cheers. All right, y'all. Let's stretch it out. Then we'll be along, going along our merry way. That was tough. Inhale, arms reach up. And as we exhale, grab a hold of this left wrist. Side bend up and over to the right. Shift the weight into the left foot. On the next inhale, draw that left shoulder blade back. Side bend up and over a little bit deeper. Inhale, bring it up to center. Exhale, side bend up and over to the left. Shift the weight into the right foot. Inhale, draw that right shoulder blade back. Exhale, side bend a little bit deeper. Inhale, up to center. As we exhale, cactus the arms. Draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage to open up the chest and the front of the delts. Let's do that again. Inhale, up. Exhale, open. One more time, because that feels so good. Inhale, up. Exhale, open. Give that right arm, a, or excuse me, left arm a hug in. Big deep inhale, long spine. Exhale, ear to shoulder. Feel nice, stretch along that trap. Slow the breath down. I have sweat in my eye. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, switch sides. Ooh. On the next inhale, widen the stance, heels and toes out. Bring the arms up overhead as we exhale, hinge from the hips. Once we get about halfway, let that head just hang nice and heavy for forward fold. Feel a nice stretch along the hamstrings and glutes and in the spine. Give your heads a few yeses and nos. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and give yourself some gentle sway side to side. All right, we're gonna take it into one more stretch. Bring all swing to a complete stop. Bend the knees so much so that you can plant the palms. Step the right leg back, release right knee, right top of foot. And bring that right arm up and over. Feeling a nice stretch along that hip flexor and along the side body. Big, deep, expansive inhale as we exhale, come out of it. And let's just hit that other side. Inhale up, exhale, sink and melt. All right, y'all, inhale up and exhale. We are done. Great work today. That was challenging. If it didn't feel challenging enough, we may need a heavier weight selection. 
but you can always, I always recommend starting conservatively and then come back to this workout. See if we can progressively get better and better each and every time. You rock. Have a wonderful rest of the day.